Hello everyone. Uh, good evening. Uh, welcome to at another session of uh, investor pitching at uh, TGS 2020. This time it is going to be pharma and healthcare. Uh, ever since COVID, uh, I think pharma and healthcare has been at the forefront, um, especially on the public markets. Uh, you know, everything got zoom, and then uh, uh, even even on the startups to early stage to late stage investments are uh, on a really at a high gear. Uh, so at TGS 2020, we have received uh, you know many startups in the healthcare pharma space. Uh, in fact, we have more than 500 uh, companies have applied for curated pitching uh, across domains. It's not just uh, healthcare alone or pharma alone, uh, out of which uh, we have uh, uh, many investors uh, selecting uh, companies across uh, both uh, pitching uh, format or one-on-one -on -one format. Some of you have got both. So today's session, uh, which goes for about 90 minutes, we have close to 17 startups uh, pitching today over a five minutes of uh, very crisp presentation. And we have investors logged in the session, uh, but we will not have any Q&A for paucity of time. So I will be moderating the session uh, and then I will give you a buzz uh, 30 to 40 seconds ahead of your closing time. So I'll request you to adhere to the timing because we need to give back this auditorium sharp back at 8.30. Uh, so that will put us in a really tight uh, spot. I request all your cooperation. Uh, this uh, session, as I said, is getting uh, recorded and uh, going live on auditorium 7. Uh, brief introduction about myself. Uh, I'm the founder and managing director for Finvista Advisors Private Limited. Uh, we are a corporate development firm advising uh, companies uh, cross-border, mergers and acquisitions, capital and fundraising advisory across many industry domains. Uh, we operate out of uh, two offices in India, one in Hyderabad and one in Bangalore. So uh, I will now call upon uh, the first uh, uh, Startup, uh, Ayod Intelligence. Shiva, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, Shiva, if you can, uh, you know, be prepared to share your screen. Yeah. And then um, I will be time managing it and kindly adhere to five minutes. And uh, the moment you start sharing your screen, your time starts. Sure. Yeah. Hi, I'm uh, Shiva representing Ayod Intelligence. We are an AI powered. Uh, digital therapeutics platform. Our value statement is to build the largest technology-driven patient-centric uh, health tech platform through collaborations and synergies. So the problem what we are addressing is uh, more than 95% of the clinical data that is generated in hospitals, clinics is gone non-functional. So you take the digital health records, uh, they are not patient-centric and not interoperable. What we do is we make this clinical data an interoperable patient-centric through our platform in the fourth industrial revolution to provide clinical analytics. So our solution is simple. It is a federated patient-centric platform. We provide a QR code to the doctor. Whenever a patient go there, they scan that and uh, register the details and enter for what reason they have come to the hospital. And the doctor or the healthcare professional will enter the case details, assessment, symptoms, and prescription plan. We make both the patient the doctor and the hospitals, an integral part of the digitization. So this is a solution we provide. Our uniqueness is we have most comprehensive symptom, disease, and prescription knowledge graphs, as I have shown for one for asthma. You have for nutritional supplements, the disease assessment, or diagnostic procedures, uh, complications, comorbidities associated with each disease and symptoms. These are the comprehensive knowledge graphs which have, we have for more than 1,500 diseases and uh, 10,000 symptoms. So we integrate our AI-based systems into the physician's workflow to make their job easier. We have more than a billion clinical relationships to assist the healthcare professionals. We have filed two patents for this as well. This is our uniqueness. The features are we make the doctors to digitize a case in less than 30 seconds. So that is a simple thing. We conquer the complexities and make the things simpler for the doctors. We have an AI-assisted AI prescription so that we make the clinical activi activities gamified. For the patient, the value proposition is it's a patient-centric uh, platform. 
we provide them reminder systems and wearable integrations for intake glucometers or BP machines and several medtech devices. All the clinical data is integrated on our platform. This is our pipeline. We want to build use case and see that whether this works or not. So we started with veterinary, which is in production now in 12 hospitals in Hyderabad. For physiotherapy, we are doing pilot studies for gynecology, pediatric, oncology, and cardio are the different sectors and specializations uh, in our portfolio. We target each specialization because each doctor's or each vertical is different and their approach is different. Our business model is simple. We charge annual subscription from the patients. We don't charge anything from the hospitals or doctors. We have several feedback systems and uh, engagement, engagement uh, loops so that once the patient leaves from the hospital, we engage with them, see that they are on our platform and provide certain data, which will create a network effect and see that the healthcare ecosystem is digitized, which will increase the doctor's growth as well. Our revenue currently is with the annual subscriptions. We have several revenue streams like affiliate marketing, pharma vaccine ads, wearable integration. If you see like our uh, lifetime value of each patient and uh, the customer acquisition cost say stay at 60 is to one. The market size stands at $600 billion across the globe growing at a 28.5 CAG year. And uh, in India, it is growing at 27.4 CAG year. The fundamental difference between our competitors and us is we integrate with the doctor's flow. We don't create a separate flow. We don't acquire customers online. We acquire the customers at the hospital and see that the things are digitized with existing flows. So we have real-time clinical data and we have federated architecture and it's patient-centric. None of the competitors have similar kind of a thing. You have a minute, Shiva. Yeah. Our value map, I have been exploring this area and we have studied more than 420 startups across the globe. We are currently with 12 veterinary hospitals in Hyderabad and we plan to reach 1,000 hospitals in the next 18 months. And... Our traction currently is 2,700 paying customers, paid customers, that is subscribers in the last three months. Our funding, we are looking for a four crore funding for the next 18 months to scale up. Majority of the funding will go into sales and business development. And our team, myself, we are a blend of uh, 11 people coming from medical, pharma, and uh, clinical architects, as well as technical people. I head the sales and the execution part. Rajendra takes care of operations and Manika and business development. Arvind takes care of the tech lead and uh, Sai is a analytics person. Our mentors, Parthal sir, sir, Ekta Bal ma'am and Srinivas sir, they help us in different verticals of the respective things. Thank you. Great Shiva, thank you. Just turn dot. Can yeah. you stop sharing the screen please? Yeah. Uh, may I request Ajay if he's there uh, from BFAR Drug Labs? Ajay, are you there? Okay. So we will move on. Uh, is Vijayander there from uh, Doco Technologies? Vijayander? Yes. Yeah. I'm Vic and the other partner. So if you can allow me, I can start my presentation. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, Abhishek. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm just sharing my screen. Yeah. Yeah. So taking a second. Perfect. Yeah, go ahead, Abhishek. Yes. Good evening, everyone. My name is Abhishek Kumar, and I am presenting you our startup, Doc OPD. In Doc OPD, we are trying to balance out the IT and the healthcare business inside. So we have a very good blend of these two with our team. We are very small but very innovative. So in healthcare, there are like major problems in terms of the OPD is not happening, less happening. And then if you compare with the other countries, it's very less. After this, we are leading towards a, a chronic disease because the OPD is not happening. The you know issues are going to be destroyed and uh, the chronic disease is coming up. So you, can't be, you won't believe like more than 6 million people are dying in 2016 just because of chronic disease. The current solution which is happening right now is uh, it's like it's overlooking or ignorance or quacks or you know uh, a very distance oriented treatments are going on asynchronous treatment is also there so more than 40 billion amount is going to be lost every year in india itself a major is out of the pocket expenditure so now we are introducing a very innovative and 
a revolutionary business proposal which is called health gateway there is a new term which you can see we are try to have a automatic and complete technology platform which is which is having a great insight to start any health event from a patient and take it to the next level of the services by just fraction of second this health gateway acts like a quick turn around for any health related services for a patient and in return creates a great health insight and actionable insight by using ai and ml it will also provide you a very good health calendar which will show you the upcoming health event also now after using this solution health gateway we derived to three different products which is into the diabetic cardiac and general wellness by using these solutions we are actually reducing a lot of you know uh, healthcare problems in terms of these pro these uh, uh, you know issues we are also able to do a continuum care of the entire patient and giving you a holistic approach towards the solution now market size is growing with a very rapid speed as you know after covid or it's it's even it's a plus now you can see the gray scale we are at uh, you know 20000 uh, humans only uh, we have you know acquired and we are having you know uh, uh, 150000 revenue as of now and you can see the market is like more than that so our business model is very clear we are only into the b2b segment right now we are offering this solution to the corporates governments by two different way one is the on demand services which is pay as you go and the other one is the subscription model for yearly subscription we are looking for a 2 million fund to take our complete rev projected revenue to 8.5 million over the 36 months we are also going to be uh, you know positive uh, cash flow by 18th of the month you can see the uh, you know fund utilization here you can see our uh, 2 millions is going to be spent in these customer acquisitions partner acquisitions technology and new uh, you know geographical re reasons and marketing and branding you can see in the second years you can also see in the chart that we are going to you know go into the positive side and in third year we are going up we have got lot of accreditation from the you know different uh, you know uh, uh, association in the government and the private also so we are working with mighty department the government central ministry we are also working with some state government also at uh, on some you know uh, uh, private corporates also you can see like we have done this part in the covid era we have gone through uh, you know uh, with our services to uh, provide this kind of solution to every individual and in covid we have done lot of programs you can see like lot of you know accreditation has been done from the you know people thanks thank you very much hey thanks abhishek you are well within the time limit uh, thank you if you stop sharing the screen okay. uh, do we have satyanarayan uh, from um, mbright abhishek can you please stop uh, sharing the screen yeah do we have satyanarayan okay i think we don't have uh, do we have deepu from hepatic all right parda parda from lasso yeah i'm here parda please go ahead and uh, share your screen awesome am i good to go yeah good to go yep awesome thanks everybody for having me i'm parda ceo of lasso so i started lasso really to be what what we consider the high performance lifestyle brand and my story really started after breaking my ankle playing basketball so I was in college at Georgia Tech studying biomedical engineering, went through a personal injury and saw that there were no real daily wear products that enabled people to live, you know, healthier on a day-to-day -day basis. So, essentially I created a technology that we integrate into apparel that we filed patents on that um helps to improve your movement on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'll get into that in a second. Um within a couple of weeks of launching this technology, it was adopted by adopted by pro athletes across the United States and since then it's it's really been this um awesome brand and movement that we've been focusing on as a team. So the first product that we made with our technology is actually a sock. And if you look on the sock there's these compression patterns. They replicate what you're doing with taping if you were to tape a joint. So 
when you do that, you're actually reinforcing key ligaments and tendons around the foot and the ankle. And the byproduct is better performance, but also use case on the rehab and recovery side. Um, the real only competition to our product in terms of use case is ankle bracing or K taping. Um, but taping, you know, wears off within 30 minutes, braces are bulky and they stop range of motion. So really with Lasso, what we've created is a unique way to uh, provide the same support and benefits as K taping, but rather than using adhesion as a primary mechanism of, of providing that support, we're actually using compression as a tool as opposed to, um, you know, as a generic feature in a product. Um, so we launched this product and uh, over the last couple of years, uh, we sold over 30,000 pairs. We have an 85 net promoter score, over 500, 500 reviews. And over the summer and through COVID, we've seen a huge jump in organic revenue. Our customer base spreads um, across all people and uh, the use cases for our product are pretty diverse. And this is because the product is designed to work with the body as opposed to just for a specific use case. And so for a brand, really the bigger story that we're focusing on is using each use case, whether it's a foot or ankle injury or whether it's pushing for athletic performance or whether it's somebody who's on their feet all the time as an entry point into the user's lifestyle, but really designing the product so that it can be uh, A, fashion agnostic and B, worn in, in any context. Initially, we're focused on the sports performance marketplace, but with awesome athletes like Cam Newton, who wears the product when he plays, but also posts videos on Instagram, for example, of him jumping into a pool with only swim trunks and, and our socks on, uh, we are able to slowly start to drip into the lifestyle market um, on a macro level. Up until this point, we've been only e-commerce focused. This year was really our first year of focus um, building. From a revenue standpoint, we expanded our team. We crossed the 1 million annualized revenue mark. Um, and really the highlight that, that I want to point out is our reorder rate. Um, our customers love our product and, and they very frequently reorder, which we're very grateful for. Um, really to just kind of talk a little bit about the product. Our technology is the way in which we do compression. There's a couple layers of patents there and I can get into that um, on a follow-up if anybody's curious. But our plan is essentially to scale this technology to every, every joint in the body through different pieces of garment. So knee sleeves, arm sleeves, leggings, shorts, shirts, etc that all deliver this musculoskeletal benefit. In terms of how we're going to market as a brand, we've been fortunate to have a really great set of partners around us. Um, sports leagues, where we're the official SOC uh, channel partners that help us distribute both in medical, military, and um, to consumer. Fitness partners who are all the leading culturally relevant brands and gyms who we're doing collaboration SOC designs with and um, co-branded launches, uh, as well as product partners, specifically want to point out Red Bull Performance, who we're doing a joint study with currently to further validate our product. Um, one other thing about Lasso is we're, we're very driven by our hearts. And so when we find opportunities to create positive impact, we do. Um, one thing we did at the beginning of COVID, we gave a sock for every order we got to a medical pers personnel who was working overtime. We were able to donate to over 200 hospitals, got national recognition and won an award for this campaign, um, which was you know an awesome way for us to just really demonstrate who we are as a brand and a company uh, to our community. So our team, um, really myself, um, you know, a few others. And what I want to point out is uh, we have a, we're fortunate to have a very diverse um, advisory board and investor base. We have uh, the top of top pro athletes. We have awesome physician advisors, including Dr. Sleek Parak, the chief foot and ankle surgeon of Duke, who actually prescribes the product uh, to foot and ankle injuries on a day-to-day -day basis. Finally, advisors like Uli Becker, the former head of marketing at Adidas and and CEO of Reebok. Um, we're uh, just mostly foundation focused up until now and next year is really our big jump and we're in the midst of closing out a $1.5 million seed round. It actually closes on Monday. We have a couple weeks extension for anybody from this, um, this group who's interested to be able to have a conversation with us. Um, but we're doing our first closing on Monday. It's at a 10 million pre-money valuation. And uh, it's led by one of the owners of an MLB franchise down in Texas, um, just to give you some high level. So as a company, we've been very disciplined in terms of how we've been building. And the real focus here is to take products that have medical benefit. All of our products are FDA registered and they're technically medical devices with reimbursement and to repackage them for daily use uh, and make them consumer friendly. And so at Lasso, that's what we're doing and we're helping people stay moving on a day to day basis. Thanks. Sure. Thanks, Parda. Thank you very much. Uh, please stop uh, the screen share. Um, can we have Asta from Liniment? Hey. 
Yeah. Hi, Kidmiliani. Hi, Esther. Yeah, please go ahead. Hi, Hi everyone. I'm the co-founder of MedDelivery. And MedDelivery is a B2B platform for medical shops to simplify their lives from daily procurements that they're doing from hyper-local wholesale markets, in particularly in non-metro cities in India. So when we talk about the market size, the total medicines that get traded in India, India is to the tune of 20 billion USD. 90% of this is run by standalone pharmacies, while 70% is the share of the non-metro cities. What is the problem? The problem is that Indian pharma industry is operating over a million plus product coming from 10,000 plus different brands. So the medical shopkeepers operates on daily just-in-time procurement to minimize their inventory and working capital. So they're engaged in daily buying and selling of these products, medical products, and this daily activity is very stressful and a lot of time leads to partial fulfillment due to time limitation and fragmented supply chain. So partial fulfillment causes them sales loss as medicines is of the nature where broken consumption cannot happen. And let's have a look at how complex the supply chain is. So this makes uh, a medical shopkeeper's life very stressful as there's a lot of manual activities are happening and with a lot of touch points. So how easy it has become now. So we have digitized the supply chain and built this very high engaging platform where we are having 75% repeat customer rates to provide them 100% fulfillment, that is zero bounce rate. And we're giving daily deliveries to them twice a day to these shopkeepers and have automated everything from, uh, for them from ordering to deliveries and payments with zero switching cost, no habit building, very simple and similar of how they were used to do the business. We have solved the problem and have uh, benefited all the stakeholders in the supply chain to max out on their roles. How are we driving uh, dependency? So this is very important. So we have created this unique utility business model out of the existing business relationships between a medical shopkeeper and a stockist. And it has natural network effects that helps us to scale uh, and have a richest supply base and create a lot of dependency. So with each new medical shop that we add, it comes with its existing relationship with its supplier. And uh, when he orders with us, the supplier base in the data is available to every other shop over our network and this is our ability to give them 100% fulfillment. So with the dependency, the user base will keep increasing. And because of the network effects and the word of mouth, we'll have a very large user base. We do have it. And uh, that, may, that uh, even enhances the dependency. And now with larger user base, we, we will have more order aggregations, which will lead to better prices and savings, which will again lead to even more dependency. So because of fulfillment and ease of doing business, there's this virtuous cycle where dependency will drive usage and thereby better unit economics. So as we go from 500 to 5,000 medical shops, we are currently at 500 medical shops. As we go from 500 to 5,000, all our matrices will keep improving. And as you see here, how uh, with time our dependencies are increasing, our customer base is increasing. We are now serving more and more orders. We have been able to attract a lot of wallet share, a lot of sales share of the stockist that is moving through our platform that is increasing. And now we are heading towards a positive unit economics. And all of this is backed by a 75% cohort, 73% cohort. So that's the biggest success testimony that we have. That's uh, the amazing cohorts that we have. And till now, we have done 20 crores of uh, GMB transacted through our platform. So I'll come to the team now. So myself, Rohit, and Rahul, we have a diverse background of tech operations in business. I and Rohit had previous domain experience from B2C and pharma. And we had, uh, we, uh, before this, we were doing uh, B2C and pharma. 
that is medicine delivery from medical shops to uh, patients and Asta, we have you this, have to speed up a bit hands on experience uh, with the fragmented supply chain and our co-founder uh, rahul who is uh, who has previous uh, experience of uh, making apply solutions for a few uh, supply chain and retail platforms so our yeah. ask is 2 million dollars so we are raising 2 million dollars that will uh, enable us to grow 10x over the next 18 months and uh, i can give you a more detailed break up and a more detailed pitch and we can collect uh, we can connect any time Uh, uh, over again. Thank you. Sure, sure. Thanks, thanks, Asta. Yeah. Uh, can we have Puneet? Uh... Hello. Hi, Puneet. Yeah. Please go ahead, Puneet. Yes. Hi, guys. So myself, Puneet. I'm an eye care practitioner, and my startup is Curesy. So we are addressing the problem of amblyopia. what is amblyopia it is an eye disorder in which the eye cannot see clearly even after best possible correction by spectacle or by contact lenses <coughs> so our eyes just work like a camera and as you can see if a child goes to see taj mahal when i see the taj mahal clearly whereas the other eye is unable to focus clearly and gives a blurred image so over a period of time the brain favors the clear image only neglecting the amblyopic or the lazy eye so this is the problem and the present treatment modality was patching of the better eye so if you patch the better eye the patient is left with a very blurred vision causing cosmetic embarrassment difficulty in daily life tasks extremely high weight getting squint compliance of patient is very very poor in this high weight i'm really sorry i don't think you're giving is astra can you please uh, go yeah. on mute So the solution is the a set. call. The call was Asta, good. Uh, the call was good. Me, It Asta, had. Uh, can you please go on mute? Uh, they were on a very short mute. They had arranged the call. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Apni. Yeah. So the solution is a SaaS-based vision therapy software in which the patient plays exercises which were in the form of games. So the patient finds it interactive as well. We charge the patient for a six-month subscription. It is a faster and advanced treatment as we treat the patient within three months only. and the patient can access from anywhere it is available both online cloud based and offline mac os and windows on both the platforms so what is the customer segment it is the amblyopic patients of any age as per research is 3 to 5% of global population suffers from amblyopia that is world population of 7.7 billion results in 308 million amblyopic patients only which gives us a business of 30 billion us dollars and the cagr is happened to be 3.8% the stage we are currently at is traction we have connections with leading eye care hospitals of india they are now using qrc more than 130 plus uh, doctors and hospitals are connected with us around 1500 patients are benefited from qrc clinical trials are done on patients which verify our success in treating the disorder validated the product market fit we have been running since 1.5 years and we have validated the product market fit now with continuous innovation and adopting newer technology we are adopting ai and ml into this this is the milestone we have achieved we started from idea and now our stage is product market fit so the, our new challenge is to reach out to rural patients who lack the technology access our business model is we cater to both the doctor hospitals as well as the patients directly over the online portal in b2c we charge dollar 188 per patient for a 6 month subscription of the therapy access and following are the charges for b2b about the founder myself i am an optometrist and vision therapy specialist and i started this venture with my school friend who i know since more than uh, approximately 7 years and jatin koshik his name he is the engineering dropout and is skilled in data science ai as well as software development so why are we the best what leads us ahead of the curve so a competitive advantage is we are available both online and offline this is the single software in the world as well as we cater to stereopsis and the only one to incorporate gaber patches technology we have no additional cost on hardware and we are the only ones with artificial intelligence integrated into this we cater to b2b and b2c both Our current funding status is we are bootstrapped till now, and we have received a commitment of 170k USD investment for 17% of shares by Everlight Food Products. We are asking for a funding of 400k USD, which will uh, get us to expand for 24 months, that is two years. 
this is the fund distribution till now we were focusing on creating a product market fit now as we have validated this we have uh, till the time we were reducing the opex now we were to scale worldwide by investing in the following that is investing in advertising and marketing to acquire more doctors and patients scaling operations by getting the fda clearances and uh, research and development this is a major section why to improve continuously and to expand our product range we have to expand our product range into the pharmacy as well as pharma uh, in the labs in the laboratories so we are incorporating ai into this and it is in the development phase need we got to wrap up in 30 seconds yeah sure sir and the last one is miscellaneous that is the opex so feel free to contact me at this and thank you so much for this opportunity thank you thank you puneet uh do we have uh, mohammed from nanology okay so can we go to um, pacify medical technology sai prasad yes yeah yeah sai can you please go ahead share your yeah. screen thank you for this opportunity i am sai poire i am working on a device called skin spray gun uh, we spray it on the wounds for rapid healing you are solving the problem of closing the large wounds the currently is done using uh, where you require a large set of skin and to uh, which mesh and stitch over the wound and it is expensive and time consuming process to overcome this we are uh, we are developed skin spraying uh, where a stamp size skin so Sai Prasad, we lost your uh, screen share. Uh, hello. Yes, Sai Prasad, we lost your uh, you know screen being shared. Can you uh, share it again? Yes, yes, I am sharing it again. Uh, see, uh, is it visible now? Uh, it is not yet. Uh, seems to be that you are in a very uh, poor connection. hello yeah okay yeah you are back continue please you already lost a minute okay oh okay sorry okay uh, so so we are developing us yeah uh, uh, is there a presentation going or no 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 i think there is some problem uh, his yeah, presentation, presentation is going so because we are not able to see uh, uh, sai prasad sir yeah yes now we are able to see it Yes, can you put it in full screen mode and then change uh, the screen? Yeah. Yeah, it is in the full screen now. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Fine, thank you. So we are developing a skin spray uh, where uh, stamp size skin is sufficient to cover a larger area. Um, and as compared to the. So, okay, Sai Prasad, sorry, we are not able to hear you. Sai Prasad, we are not able to hear you. So, do you want to move on to the next person? Meanwhile, yeah, I think that is better. Uh, we'll see. Depending on time, we can get Sai Prasad back. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Sai Prasad, there is some problem with your connection. We are not able to hear you. Can you uh, stop uh, your presentation? We'll go to the next person. We'll come back. Uh, can we have uh, Srinath from Practice? Uh, you are on mute, Srinath. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, please. Okay, great. And then, so let me share my screen quickly. Yeah, yeah, sure. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Please go ahead, Sri. Okay, brilliant. Thanks a lot. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Srinath, co-founder and CEO of Practice. Practice is providing care navigation technology for health systems to autonomously navigate their patients from problem to cure. So this way, help health systems provide better quality care at low cost. Administrative costs of US healthcare is estimated at eight hundred and fifteen billion dollars by Harvard Research, which is more than GDP of most countries. And yet, less than twenty percent of the patients who need to get care complete their care journeys successfully in the same health system. This is causing a huge revenue leakage for the hospitals. This massive expenditure is because of the complexity in care navigation. 
patients need guidance nine out of 10 times. Most of this guidance needs a medical context of the patient's need, but unfortunately less than one third of the patients, uh, patient facing workforce like call center staff, care coordinators have sufficient medical knowledge to understand and guide the patients to the right care pathway. Practice solves this by combining the medical knowledge of a physician and the operational understanding of a very experienced hospital administrator. At the core is a real-time learning capability of neural networks. So with this, we provide personalized care navigation for each patient at every touch point 24 seven. Through text and voice mediums, our B2B2C white labeled assistant is usually the first touch point of a patient when they want to come to the hospital. In most cases, they interact with the platform when they recognize their medical need. Through medical tracking capabilities, it probes the patient to understand the medical need better and navigates them to the right specialist. In the United States, the operational aspects of a navigation are quite intricate, from understanding insurance eligibility, referral letters, identifying rate location, to finally booking an appointment. Our AI assistant understands each of these intricacies to guide patients appropriately and accurately every single time. To complete the care navigation till consultation, our technology also guides patients through financial queries like estimating their potential cost of care, identifying the copay amount, etc. With this, over 85% of patients seeking care need not wait in those phone lines and fill those lengthy patient forms. While doing this medical conversation with the patient, our platform collects a rich amount of medical data and history of presenting illness. This is fed to the EMR system for a better in-person care or teleconsultations and saves hundreds of hours every month for the providers. Our revenue model follows a typical SaaS subscription with usually multi-year contracts of around three years. It ranges from $75,000 for a small hospital group in India to over $750,000 per year for a health system in the United States. So far, we've implemented our solution in over five health systems like Apollo Hospitals, Fortis Healthcare, Columbia Asia, with a 600K ARR. We're also engaged with ultra-large health systems like Providence, Houston Methodist, et cetera, in the United States. We've so far navigated over 6.2 million patients to the right care and have a strong sales pipeline of $10 million. So there are a lot of uh, successful case studies that we have done with all the large health systems in the India, as well as APAC. With this, we have not even scratched the surface of this massive $2.5 trillion US healthcare market, where the number of consultations are going to grow to 2.1 billion in the next one to two years. This drives a $35 billion opportunity, combining the market of digital front door technologies, healthcare CRM, workflow automation, and patient engagement. Practice itself has an opportunity of $5 to $8 billion of this serviceable market. When it comes to competition or comparables in the market, Giant, Bui Health, Infomedica, K Health are our direct competition, with companies like Olive, who has recently raised $250 million, uh, and Cedar, which is into payment uh, digital front doors, are also trying to solve the same problem. So the market potential is undisputed and there is a huge need for health systems to solve this administrative and workflow cost. We distinguish the competition in the way our AI comprehensively navigates from problem to cure, unlike most of our competition who solve a localized problem. The founding team has a deep medical domain expertise with Dr. Akhila leading the medical and operational aspects of the business. With experience in data sciences at Flipkart, I drive technology and product architecture. Several of our sales and marketing team members are from some of the best B2B healthcare organizations in the US like Oscar, Allscripts, Cerno, and Microsoft. So far, we've raised over a million dollars in the seed round from Techstars and Healthix, and are currently raising $4 million to fuel our sales and marketing to reach the target of $5 million in revenues. So we are at the forefront of digital, digital front door technologies with COVID accelerated adoption. Uh, we believe that there's a huge potential in the next year to two years in, in both in revenue as well as the number of customers we're able to uh, capture. Uh, thanks a lot for this opportunity and would be happy to discuss further online. Very nice, Sri. I think just on time. Uh, thank you. Can we have uh, Maitreyi? Yes, I'm there. Yeah, please. Can you uh, see me? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, please uh, share your screen. Yes, I'm doing that. Okay. Is my screen visible? Yeah, Maitreyi. All good. Yeah, please go ahead. Yes. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm Maitreyi from Startoon Labs Private Limited Hyderabad. And we are working on solutions for physiotherapists. So the major problem in the field of physiotherapy is that there are 90,000 patients who undergo physiotherapy sessions every day, but there is no way to identify whether the patient is recovering or not. 
so it's it, uh, the current practice is very subjective observational based and visual, visual inspection but which is leading to lot of hit and trial way of treatment or delay in the way of recovery for the patients so for this we have come up with a product innovative product called fizi which is a wearable device uh, which can be worn by the patient while performing these physiotherapy sessions and we track the recovery of the patients on daily basis and show whether they are re recovering in the right direction or not so so far there is no device like this in the world existing and literally we are the one uh, who came up with this kind of the device so it's a very simple uh, portable device which is related with an android application and uh, through this application we can select what kind of exercises the patient is performing and track all the exercises and at the end of every session we generate reports which can be converted into pdf formats and shared with the patient so this is for the first time pdf reports are generated or any kind of documentation is done in the field of physiotherapy related to the recovery process so uh, so far we have uh, we have been uh, we have applied for two patents on this product and it's bia certified for uh, indian market and we have published few papers on this and also done clinical studies we have also tested the product and found accuracy of 97 percentage and the product is useful for the problems related to orthopedics neurology and spinal cord injuries and it's being used in hospitals for more than 1.5 years as pilots and uh, uh, we we were able to generate uh, the revenues for five devices so far with the initial uh, pilot which we have done with 20 units so the total market so this is a b2b product so it will be useful for the hospitals and the clinics and uh, due to covid situation people uh, the patients are not able to visit the hospitals so we have come up with a telephysiotherapy solution also which will uh, is the same app uh, associated with the device now which will help the patient to do their exercises from home and still be in touch with the physiotherapist when they are not able to uh, move to that hospital or the clinic so this is the recent uh, advancement in this field but we have been using this device in rehabilitation centers the home care therapists like potia or uh, we have been talking to them and used by call health and uh, the telephysiotherapy we are in the piloting stage at this point of time and uh, as i mentioned it's for b2b and uh, through the hospitals it can be given to the patients also because of the tele uh, physiotherapy feature that we have uh, recently added and it it can be used by across 1 uh, crore users in the indian market itself and uh, which is a big number uh, in the field of physiotherapy so the revenue model is with the unit sales we will charge for the initial unit which we are selling and uh, with, with followed by recurring revenues for every report we are generating it's similar to any ecg machine you go to a, a hospital and you the patient will get the ecg uh, testing done and they will be given the ecg report which will be further used for any diagnosis similar to that this report can also be uh, charged by for the patients and uh, the hospital will earn the revenues from the patients and we charge a part of it from the hospitals so it's been used for more than 200 patients so far and we found that it's very uh, uh, satisfactory from the patients so once they start using this uh, reports it it becomes very addicting for them so it's been used by major hospitals in hyderabad and uh, so far we have spent around 90 lakhs in this company and we are looking for 3 crores of funds so now uh, for next 18 months out of which 1.45 cr is secured from a couple of investors and uh, this entire 3 crores we are look, uh, we are planning to spend on three important aspects the manufacturing of 1000 units so that we can uh, get started with the sales then uh, setting up a sales team and uh, spend on ma marketing aspects and also the third one is the operations so this is the team uh, i am the co-founder of the company i am an engineer with 8 years of work experience in building products i am an alumnus of iit madras and i am ahmedabad and uh, suresh he is the ceo of the company uh, with 14 years of experience in building products also the alumnus of iit madras and i am calcutta we have partners uh, from various domains finance uh, clinical advisor uh, who is a physiotherapist himself and the sales partner and we have our business mentor as mr khalil ahmed who was a co-founder of uh, shanta biotech 
and about the company we are a 3 years old company based out of hyderabad and uh, our vision is to build healthcare uh, world class systems uh, for india uh, and also the world so we are supported and recognized by various uh, awards and uh, opportunities from various places so we are funded by uh, bairag vig grant and currently accelerated by ministry of electronics and it uh, government of india and we are also incubated by we hub maitri yeah, yeah. good yeah i'm so on time we'll taking a bit of more time but okay. uh, fine maitri thank you uh, thank we'll you so much on. yes yeah. thank you yeah we'll move on srinath uh, guess you're ready yes yeah yeah please go ahead srinath let me know if you can see the screen yes you are yeah okay good evening folks uh, my name is srinath onavalli i'm the co-founder and ceo of uh, traveler healthcare so do you know that there are more than 2 crore children in india having preventable health issues like vision issues it could be uh, hearing loss anemia uh, anxiety depression etc so this got us thinking of how we can solve this problem as helping the next generation of india so we came up with this solution of healthy kid healthy kid is a on premise at the school health screening tech based uh, solution which actually checks at more than 40 plus parameters we have personal health records we have counseling for the parents we also have a parent app and that helps also in keeping track of their records also we have health awareness programs in partnership with our uh, partner apollo med skills one thing that we found when we were uh, conceptualizing this program was how do kids look at this entire program as soon as they see a, a doctor they are worried about the injection or uh, they worried about the prick so we said our entire program health screening will be completely non invasive zero prick and also we will have gamified apps that will help make the entire experience for the kids fun for example we have this app that is for audiometry this is an app for color blindness and this is an app that we have developed for the parent to keep track of their health record now why are we doing this and what is the opportunity that we are looking at especially post covid the parents are extremely health conscious we have iot enabled devices available and the national education policy of 2020 talks about mandatory health checkup in every school in india the national digital health mission also talks about electronic health records for everybody so we found that this is an excellent opportunity that we can leverage and what is the target market that we are talking about we are looking at private schools in india middle east and nigeria and currently we are only focusing on tier 1 and tier 2 cities and with a school size of more than 500 students this itself is a market size more than 1 billion dollars and growing and what is our model that we are talking about it's a b2b to c where we work with the schools and it's a per student that we charge between 15 to 30 dollars uh, for the healthy kids service we also have a healthy campus service which is to help schools uh, reopen safely after covid where where are we in the traction we have already done five schools and uh, screened around 1500 students till now we have had a revenue of 5000 dollars till now and we have more than 10 plus schools who have agreed to take a service but yes covid was a big shock for us and uh, this year because the schools are closed we could not do much of uh, attraction but all of them are excited to take our service for the next academic year so what were we doing during the covid time so we are building our partner ecosystem with apollo med skills we are working on health devices non invasive and invasive in nit trichy and in uh, medical colleges in india we also have hospital partners and industry partners who are health tech devices which are non invasive and finally who are we so we both are co-founders classmates and roommates at nit trichy my co-founder dushmant has actually uh, founded a, a company called get my medicine uh, and sold it which is a medicine delivery thing and i have a executive degree from i am bangalore in healthcare education and for our advising we have uh, two great advisors who are from pediatrics and ophthalmology helping us in this and also would like to mention that we have won the uh, 10 minute million award at iit bombay which is around 16 lakhs of funding as well as a 25 lakhs funding from nit trichy our incubator so what is that we are asking 
we are looking for around two hundred thousand dollars for research and patent, and also we are developing health devices which can help in non-invasive tech. We're also looking for go-to-market strategies in the three markets that we talked about: India, Middle East, East and Nigeria. Thank you. Thanks, um, uh, Srinath. Uh, can we have Sesidar? Yeah. Sesidar, please uh, share your screen and uh, start, please. Yes. Yeah, all good. Uh, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. So I'm representing the company. I'm the co-founder of Overfogal Bio. Uh, we map the CNS, the brain diseases from the periphery. So lack of ideal diagnostics in the CNS space is a major problem. We have established solutions for non-invasive diagnosis of uh, CNS diseases. The solutions we have developed is useful for the patients, the doctors, and the pharma companies. We are founded in 2017, and we have two team members and two founders. So we are right now working with three hospitals for uh, developing the solution. We raised 80 lakhs through big grant and a SIBRI grant. We filed IP and we also developed a companion diagnostic. So coming to the problem, traditional CNS diagnostics come with a lot of disadvantages, uh, which is majorly with money, uh, number of the doctors, and also in the time taken. Uh, the disease we are currently addressing is with Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disease where there is a memory loss and a cognitive decline. Even though the molecular AD signatures are available for 15 years before the clinical dementia, diagnosis is not possible with the current technology. So we have, uh, and currently there are 4.5 million people in India and 44 million people all over the world with no solution, uh, with no cure in sight. The number is projected to reach 135 million and the scenario is almost the same in all neurodegenerative diseases. So we have developed a diagnostic solution that allows prognosis and diagnosis of neurodegenerative diseases in a less invasive manner and a cheaper and a comprehensive manner. So coming to the solution, uh, what is our solution? We have, de we have developed a uh, combined exosome profiling and a retinal amyloid uh, imaging which is a multi analyte diagnostic solution integrating genetic, pathological, and imaging biomarkers. Uh, this solution can detect the entire AD continuum and, and able to distinguish AD from other diseases. So it's a two-pronged solution. One is a screening test and other is a confirmatory test. Uh, the confirmatory test works on the principle of exosomes, very small na nanoparticles that are present in our body. Basically, we are intercepting the signals that are present in these exosomes, so when the cells communicate with each other, they exchange these small nanoparticles. We intercept the tweets and help in the diagnosis of the disease. This is a non-invasive solution and we bypass the need of the tissue and it helps in early identification. The USP of our, innov of our innovation is it's non-invasive. It helps the doctors in teasing the dementia groups and it helps the biotechnology companies in easing the clinical trials. Uh, currently, both the diagnostics and the biomarker market is growing at a compounded annual growth rate of 19.6% and the imaging is going at 18.7%. The product we have developed, are, uh, uh, there are three revenue streams we can anticipate from. One is the sale of the direct sale of the panel. And second one is the licensing fees, licensing our technology to the pharmaceutical companies where clinical trials are happening. The third one is developing of companion diagnostics for the various new therapies that are being uh, developed. So this is our business model. So the value proposition basically lies in development of a blood test for earlier and a cheaper accurate uh, detection of Alzheimer disease. This being a very generic technology uh, is also useful for multiple sclerosis and Parkinson. The major cost structure is in the development and research of the panel and also IP charges and test validation. Our revenue streams is in the direct sale of the panel and licensing fee of the pharma and the biotech companies. So we have raised funding in two stages right now. One is uh, we uh, both in the form of the grants. One is in the biotechnology ignition grant from BIRAC and second is for developing the technology. 
and the second is development of uh, clinical validation of the technology so we have also raised ip in the uh, from the proof of concept we are looking for a funding of 4 crores so 30% will be spent in establishing the clinical utility and 40% will be spent in commercialization of the operations and 30% on human resources and marketing so this is a competition and our uh, product is more in, uh, uh, evolved in terms of because it's a combined and it's a multi endlet neuronal exosome profiling and it gives a comprehensive disease score and is useful for the whole stakeholders this is our team uh, this is me uh, and we have a clinical uh, founder who is dr subhashni prabhakar she has more than 45 years of clinical experience we have two scientists on board who are developing the technology uh, this is our journey so we started so, i think you have to wrap it up quickly another few seconds yeah sure and uh, we hope to release the product in 2021 yeah thank you thank you sachidar that's nice so uh, uh, can we have rohan hi uh, i'll just share the screen yeah um, sachidar can yeah sure rohan please go ahead Yeah, can you see me? Yes, all good. Yep. Hi, uh, my name is Rohan Agarwal, founder of Vidcare Innovations. Uh, Vidcare is a point of care diagnostics company uh, based in Pune. Three point six million babies are born preterm each year in India, and as many as three hundred thousand die because of this. A few years ago, uh, when I was in college, and uh, I was part of a project in rural Uttarakhand, where I had the opportunity to talk to many women and observe that a large number of them suffered from pregnancy-related complications. On further discussing this with doctors, we found that uh, uh, a major uh, a major condition that led to a lot of these cases was hypothyroidism, the condition where the body does not produce enough thyroid hormone. In fact, hypothyroidism during pregnancy is among the leading causes of miscarriages, premature births, and mental developmental problems in children. Forty-four point three percent, that is approximately fifteen million pregnant women each year in India suffer from this condition, and the only solution available to them are the centralized labs, which are unfeasible since they require long-distance travel and um, uh, spend significant and require spending significant money. As a result, test actually never takes place. in such areas it has been observed that maximum care occurs locally and solutions are needed which can be pro, uh, used by people right the, there and then by the staff available so we are tackling this problem head on and have developed an easy to use blood test that can be used by anyone anytime anywhere all you need to do is add two drops of blood from your finger prick wait 20 minutes and read results as you do on a thermometer now what this means is that at the end the cells appear in a kind of in a in a in a line similar to a thermometer and the length of the line gives the sample levels um so the test is stand alone credit card size and disposable it is based on a platform technology for performing sandwich immune assay which is essentially a miniaturized version of what is happening in the lab on a small portable pocket sized chip now when we comparing it with other alternatives we uh, we do not use any electronic equipment for quantitative results Now this makes us one of the very few people globally to be able to achieve this technical feat. Now, quantitative results are important because they help the doctor to tell um, uh, to recommend dosage as per sample TSH levels. Competitive products, on the other hand, are either uh, use an electronic reader, which is usually expensive, or are only able to give you a yes or no result. also we have made the we have put in significant effort to make this device very simple to use such as minimal trained nurses and healthcare staff in uh, remote areas can actually use this very easily and talking about remote areas this is in fact where the market is moving due to a large underserved segment in such areas when we talk about pregnancy uh, 70% that is 24 to 2 million pregnancies occur in this areas which is a market potential of around 400 million for hypothyroidism alone in rural india this does not include uh, the global market which uh, for all the clinical diagnostics is approximated to around 90 billion in addition to this segment we are also looking at um, uh, other segments including uh, clean, uh, uh, including thyroidectomy patients in urban areas a home care solution 
uh, testing in clinics and small hospitals without infrastructure and community testing initiatives um so from a price point we have we are manufacturing cost is around 45 rupees or 0.65 us dollars and we wholesale it for 120 rupees uh, to 150 rupees price point on wholesale the microchip fabrication is outsourced and we assemble the final product in house and for uh, sales and marketing we partner with the existing companies so we have a patent file which covers uh, the core as innovative aspect of the device and the patent has been uh, protected further in five major jurisdiction including us europe and other important jurisdictions globally Uh, we have previously been uh, recognized and our proposition and technology has been recognized by by the government of india and has awa won awards uh, such as the india innovation growth program uh, a leading the leading innovation competition in india and has re received recognition from various international agencies including royal academy of engineering uk as well Now moving on to current status we have an advanced prototype version ready in this version should uh, you can add a sample and by followed by reagent and you get a proprietary thermometer like result at the end as i discussed as i mentioned earlier on in lab scale validation we ran multiple unknown samples and we found an excellent correlation when we compared it with the uh, 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 commercial assay rohan uh, we are uh, rohan uh, almost running out of time maybe can you please wrap yes. it up yeah so we are uh, we are currently raising a $210000 to complete clinical validation over the next 12 months um from an exit point of view we are looking at an acquisition over 6 uh, years at a, a 350 million dollar valuation and the uh, coming to the team so the company is led by me i am an alumni of iit roorkee and dr saurav bleed scientific operations he has a phd from wageningen university uh, karan holds uh, he handles the finance and legal aspects of the company and we have a close partnership working with iit madras uh, in the area of product development apart from this uh, we have no notable scientists from india and abroad uh, industry veterans including uh, um, leaders at uh, big organizations and doctors as advisors on the team as well and lastly i would like to say that uh, we are on a mission to improve lives empower people and uh, disrupt healthcare and we are looking for people and partners who share this vision uh, this is all from my side thank you thanks rohan um, thank you can we have uh... Uh, Sumedha, hi there. Yeah, Sumedha, please go ahead. Thank you so much. So, can everyone see that? Yep. Okay, great. So, my name is Sumedha Mongia. I am founder of WellUp, which makes health information secure, reliable, and accessible. and uh, as a pediatrician and parent sorry here we go uh i have three children i've experienced firsthand and seen countless uh families struggle with gathering their health information it seems like the pr problem is getting worse and more urgent we all know uh these days the uh problem with healthcare it's scattered all over the place uh people have multiple portals and uh can't find their data or don't even know sometimes they had labs or tests done uh so and there's complicated workflows which require time and contact and uh the need is getting even stronger now uh when schools are requiring a lot of data very quickly so this problem is made worse by technology gaps lack of resources language barriers time and paper records and when consumers don't have access to their data it leads to economic consequences and decrease in health outcomes the well up solution so we have uh, a patient centric digital health record um where we provide one portal that combines all your labs immunizations and medications you have 24/7 access to your data uh it's a health snapshot which uh also gives you personalized resources once we can identify things that are unique to you um you get a digital vaccine card with point of care integration when you get a vaccine with your provider using your camera and you can share the information easily. So how does it work? Uh customers uh consumers are sorry, sorry download the app and after authentication they can start collecting their health information into one portal. They can add new data into the vaccine card using their camera and they can connect and share data for schools and camps using a pre-filled form um 
in their mobile phone. Uh, you can also have those reference library, bilingual, auto chat, um, and medication reminders, all kinds of things, uh, growth charts that you have access to on your phone. Um, so who are the stakeholders besides the consumers? We feel like schools are the biggest stakeholders when it comes to uh, data right now. Um, for schools, WellUp offers support for required reporting and automation of a form review and collection, which can save staff countless hours. We also provide contact-free workflows and improve the reach in high-risk areas um, and offer further reach, uh, overcoming language barriers with um, bilingual auto chatbot and resources. Um, our business model is a B2B with the primary target right now being schools and in particular K through 12 schools, charter schools and school-based health centers, which are in high need, high risk areas. And um, we feel like there's a play for players and employers down the road as well. Um, we would like to get consumers, um, and our target market in that area is university students, young adults, professionals, and parents with uh, young children. Our TAM, um, just in the schools is area is 650 million with our target market being 175 million uh, with good play down the road uh, with payers and employers as well. Our pricing model is a per member per month with an annual subscription of $1 a member per month and initial integration fees um, when we onboard school partners. Um, for consumers, it will be a freemium model, free to use uh, the digital vaccine card and um, add-on services later. Our timeline, we have a mid to high fidelity prototype now, which we are testing out with students, parents, and schools. We expect to launch the MVP in early 2021. And we have a pilot with Flex Academies in 50 mid-Atlantic schools and up to 2000 students confirmed for summer 2021. Um, we certainly have competition in the space, but what sets us apart is our great user experience, very patient-centric approach. We also have point of care um, onboarding of new data using the camera, and so it's ease of use and operation. Um, we have bilingual messaging for schools um, in high-risk communities and a resource library for consumers uh, as well, which sets us apart. We are looking for pre-seed, pre-revenue raise right now um, of 750,000 for a one-year runway. Uh, most of that is going to product development. Um, in December, we quickly put together a friends and family raise and we've already got letters of intent for 25,000 and hopefully with three investors, hopefully more to come on that. Our team um, is me, as I mentioned, I'm a pediatrician and I'm a second time founder. My first venture was also in the digital health space. And um, alongside me is Josh Chernikoff, who has uh, led Flex Academies to um, partner with more than 80 schools in the Mid-Atlantic area. He's now looking at a successful exit there. And Lawrence Korchnak, who has years of experience in ed tech and business development. And I have an amazing advisory group with people from healthcare consulting, industry leaders, and key associations. So we would love to further discussions and provide more details for anyone interested in helping us transform the way that Next Generation does healthcare. We like to say that WellUp is a smarter way to do health in COVID and beyond. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Sumedha. Um, uh, that's nice. Uh, we will move on to the last presentation. Uh, Craig, are you there? Yes, I am here. Yes, yes, thank, thank you. Thank you for patiently waiting. You know? <laughs> Sorry to put you on the last yes. one. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to get started. Here we yes, go. Yes, you do, Craig. Yep. Uh, let, me, let me share my screen here. All right. Uh, able to see that? Yes, I'll go. Okay. All right. Excellent. Oh, get rid of that. All right. Okay, excellent. All right. Well, thank you, uh, everyone, for joining us today. Uh, I hope the age old adage of saving the best for last uh, holds true today. Uh, we are MedEngage Healthcare Private Limited, based in Haryana. And we provide cloud-based AI and IoT monitoring and alert services for the healthcare community. Uh, I'd like to first start by briefly explaining uh, some issues that we see in the marketplace today. The WHO has declared that there are 138 million patients harmed every year by human errors around the world. Uh, in India alone, 5.2 million people die due to human negligence. And there is no one-stop solution available for patient 
uh, for proper patient monitoring. Uh, so out of those 5 million deaths in India and the 70% worldwide deaths attributed to human error, it's estimated that 50% of those can be directly reduced by promoting technology. Uh, we've devised a plan to address these issues by tapping into the readily available data streams of information that's already published by many medical devices. Initially, we are focusing on ventilators. Our cloud-based application portal allows for real-time monitoring of patients by doctors, nurses, hospital staff, and family members via web browser or mobile device. Our AI-enabled hardware is able to detect anomalies by comparing past data patterns. And here's a overview of our process. So we read the data stream from a ventilator by using our plug and play IOT device. Uh, it can be registered through our portal by using our QR code and it directly, um, directly uploads to the, to the portal where users log in. Um, the information is read through the IOT device, uh, pushed up to our web API where it's stored in a database and then at that point, users can log into the portal and view information about the devices. Uh, so this solution gives us a direct uh, distinctions in the market. As you can see, we're able to provide many services that are not available from other ventilator manufacturers. Uh, the biggest advantage we have is we're manufacturer neutral. So we can uh, report on data across multiple ventilator manufacturers. Uh, and we have legacy device support, which is important for hospitals who have already invested in the devices uh, so that they can report on old and new devices. Uh, our AI capabilities give us predictive services that are not found in other solutions and we are low cost giving us the advantage of easier adaptability for those with budget constraints. So there's a growing ventilator market in India, currently about 47,481 existing devices in over 69,000 hospitals. The number of ventilators is not spread evenly throughout India. The rural areas in particular are in higher need of remote monitoring and alert capabilities so that doctors and staff can monitor from a distance. It's important to have those areas covered and staff won't necessarily be uh, right nearby the devices. Uh, so by adding some alert capabilities, if a device has an issue, a doctor or staff can immediately respond to that. So we have a few plans available. Uh, we offer as a software as a service, and we have an available one-time uh, subscription plan, a monthly plan, and yearly. Um, each plan has its advantages depending on what works within a certain budget or the number of devices that uh, someone may need. Uh, both based on the total number of ventilators in India and a subscription plan of approximately $2,000 per year, the addressable market is estimated at about $95 million per year with close to an additional $10 million in setup fees. So we are seeking $1 million in funding for additional research and development and for our product launch. Uh, we originally designed our solution around COVID and the need for emergency ventilator support. Uh, we had some success in winning a hackathon out of more than 4,000 submitted projects. We were then picked up by the AGB incubator, who was able to join us with Meta Hospitals, where we are currently developing our services further. We have a great team in place with all the knowledge necessary to further our ideas. Ashi and I met at a deep technology boot camp at MIT and Ashi brought her brother on board who is currently employed as an AI researcher. We'd like to thank you for your time and we hope you will help us save lives. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Craig, excellent. Uh, so you're well uh, within time. Uh,
ladies and gentlemen we come to the end of uh, this session i request all our uh, investor partners to fill in the uh, feedback against your chosen um, startups uh, as soon as possible we have enabled the presentation uh, with uh, the feedback option uh, lastly uh, those of the other investors who are participating who have not actually chosen the startups if you would like to uh, having looked at these presentations and you know, like any of these startups please let us know uh, and then uh, from there you know we will provide you additional information and access to these startups uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you very much uh, you know from tgs uh, we will come to the end of uh, the pharma and healthcare uh, uh, pitching session here